hello guys you're welcome to this tutorial video and you're welcome to my channel this is Bisola, and you're welcome to disco fashion all right guys so in this video we are going to be drafting the skirt block all right the skirt block the basic skirt all right as you can see i have my paper on the table already divided into two this will be for the front block while this will be for the back block all right this line here is our center front line while this line is our center back line all right this line up here is the waistline which is the starting of the pattern this is our waistline as you can see all right to draw the basic the basic set uh, the basic skirt you will need this measurement you will need your hip round measurement your waist round your waist to hip measurement and waist to hemline which is actually the length of your skirt and this depends on how long or short you want your skirt to be all right for mine i want it to end just on my knee and i have 25 inches here so the length your length is going to determine on where you want it to stop you might want it above the knee or just below your knee all right just like i said this is our waistline this this bust is for the back while this is for the front okay so we are going to be drafting the front and the back we are going to be drafting it at the same time all right so i want you to concentrate well we are going to be drafting that at the same time and i'm not just going to take much of your time because this is so simple and straightforward so it's not time consuming at all so the first thing I will do here, I want to measure my weight to my hip. I want to take the measurement and place it on the front and on the back. All right, I'll be I'll be marking it out so that we can see very well. My waist to my hip, the measurement from my waist to the hip is nine inches. Nine inches, waist to hip vertical measurement. Okay, I'm just going to mark it here as well. Just like I said, 9 inches from my waist line to my heel. Means from the starting point of my skirt, from where I'm going to be placing my skirt to the heel. So the measurement is 9 inches and I'm going to connect it straight. To make a straight line and that is what that is our waistline so that is our hip line from the waist to the hip this is our hip line this is the waistline this is the hip line and the next one now is the hem line all right I have 25 inches from my waist to my knee is 25 inches so i'm just going to place the measurement here this is 25 inches i hope you can see it from there this is 25 inches if you are making yours you are just going to place the measurement from the weight to the hemline I mean the skirt length, where you want your skirt to, to hang. All right, now I'm going to connect it to a straight line. I want to bring it up so that you can see what I'm doing. Now I'm connecting it to make a straight line. Okay. So this is our skirt length, or you can just call it hemline. Since I've indicated this with HL, that's why I don't want to use another HL here, so that you will not be confused. All right, this is our skirt length. This is our hip line, and this is our waist line. Okay, the next thing I'm going to do now is to just input my that 
my that measurement so here at the center front line i'm just going to place my nipple to nipple, to nipple measurement divided by two which is three and a half mine is three and a half yours can be different all right this is my nipple to nipple measurement divided by two and here i'm going to mark half of an inch on the right side and half of an inch on the left side all right at this middle i'm just going to mark four inches downward four inches downward which will make our dart all right so i will connect to this point down i'll connect to this point all right so that's it and at the center back also i will do the same thing my nipple to nipple measurement divided by two which is three and a half and half of an inch on both sides half of an inch on both sides i'm just placing the dot so that you can see all right at this middle i'll measure five inches downward you know it was four inches at the at the front at the front block but here it is just going to be five inches which means one inch longer than the front block all right this is for the back why this is for the front okay you know this is our that so this is going out when sewing all right that is it as you can see, the next thing I'm going to do here is to input my weight measurement divided by 4 plus 1 inch, which is our dart input. Alright, my weight measurement is 29, 29 divided by 4, let me just use the calculator, 29 divided by 4 equals to 7.25 plus 1 inch dart input, that is 8. 25. All right, 8.25. Okay, this is my 8.25. This is my 8.25. I will also place it at the back. Okay, this is my 8.25. Since we took one inch that intake, we took one inch for that on both sides. So I'll just place the measurement which is 8.25 on the back as well as the front. All right, at the hip line also, I'm just going to divide my hip measurement by four. My hip measurement is 36 divided by four equals to nine, equals to nine. All right, you can see that our dart did not extend to this place. So we don't need to add any dart allowance. Now I'm just going to place the nine directly on my hip line i'm just going to place the nine inches directly on my hip line all right that is it i already have the dot here and here i already have it here so the next thing i'm going to do now you know i'm just going to place my hip measurement on on this hem line you know, I'm just going to place it directly on it, which is nine measurement. But I don't want this skirt to be to be entirely straight like that. So I'll be reducing one inch to make it a kind of pencil. So I don't want it to be straight. So if you want yours to be straight down, you can just measure your hip measurement and place it here. But if you don't want it to be straight down, you just minus like one or one point five inches from it. Okay, I'm just going to minus one inch. Just going to minus one inch, which is eight. All right. I will also place the eight inches measurement here. Okay, so now I'm going to be connecting those dots together. Firstly, I will use my hip curve from here to here, from the waist. From the waist to the hip, as you can see. All 
from the waist to the hip and from the hip down. So that will make the cross to be. Alright. Okay, that's good. That's good. I think the kind of curve I'm having here. So let me just blend it. Okay, the next thing I'm going to do now is I will extend this line by half of an inch. I will extend this line by half of an inch. Half of an inch. And this line as well. I will extend it by half of an inch. Okay. I hope you can show me very well. I'm extending it by half of an inch. So, the next thing I'm going to do, I'm just going to blend the line using this curve to my waistline. Okay. Alright, and see that that line is not straight, so that's why I'm using the curve wheel. So I blend it straight to the waistline. Okay. Alright. Alright, this is nice. This is nice. And that is all for this curve block. That is all. Like I told you, we are not going to be adding our sewing allowances on this, on the pattern paper. All right. When we are making yours, you can decide to add your sewing allowance. So just, so just give us a guide on how we are going to add this. You can add half of an inch at the size like this, half of an inch or one inch, depends on you. All right. But at the center back, you just have to add enough for your zipper allowance you have to add you have to add like one to two inches for the zipper allowance so you have to add enough at the center back down here also you have to add enough maybe one two inches or or lesser depends depending on how you want to make the skirt so here you might just add like two inches down here two inches here while half inch round two inches here as well for this, you don't have to add any allowance. As you know, <coughs> we are going to fold the fabric while cutting this place. So, it will be on fold. There is no allowance required for here. For here, for the sake of our zipper intake, we need to add 2 inches allowance. Alright, let me just do the cuff here now so that we can see. So this is the front block, while this is the back block. And how can you identify this? You can see that this dart is longer than this. You can see the difference. And I think that's the only difference. Okay, this is the front, while this is the back. As you can see, this pattern is looking pretty and, and nice. Okay. Just like I told you, I want it to be tensed a little. So if you want yours to be straight, then you can just make it straight. While you just want to like this measurement here, that's why I'm having this curvy pencil shape. All right, so that that depends on you both. So if you are cutting for your fabric, you just have to add half of an inch down, half of an inch at this side, half of an inch at this side. While on the on the back pattern, you are going to have like add like two inches 
and the center back body on the zipper allowance and down here you can have your two inches allowance as well for the folding or it depends on how you want to sew it actually all right but if it is me i would like to have like two inches here for the folding and for the inter maybe like interfacing and how to make it okay all right that is it that is it for this class that is it remember when you are cutting it you are just going to cut two pieces of the bag and this one is going to be on fold you are going to fold your fabric and cut it you are going to fold your fabric and cut it so this will actually be one piece after cutting it although this is like one side of it you are going to fold your fabric into two you are going to fold it into two and cut this so all right that is it we have come to the end of the class thank you thanks for watching see you in my next video thank you please give this video a thumbs up like comment share with your friends and also subscribe to my channel thank you thank you for watching bye